Hey everyone, what's going on? This is Ash and Rima from Mass Effect Odyssey. Today we are bringing you a very brief video in regards to our <laughs> very few predictions on EA Plays, which is the weekend after next. Uh, this is something we discussed last night. We came up with a very short list of what we think is going to happen and we're just going to discuss it with Lee for, for you guys now. Uh, so I'll read off the list that we wrote. Well, I wrote yesterday because your mug software kind of broke um, we were uploading at that time that's so, also yeah. true um <laughs> so yeah so we have four different predictions this is what we've both agreed on uh we think they will get a presentation but we don't think it's going to go any longer than about eight to ten minutes that's kind of the norm for any kind of conference presentation at e3 or any kind of games media event for anyone really so if you get more than 10 minutes then you've done pretty well uh the we believe there's going to be possibly some on stage gameplay and what we mean by this is one of the main devs from the uh from the company so in our case i think we said mike gamble might either mike gamble or aaron flynn might come out we thought yeah because they're the two bigger faces of the of bioware at the moment yeah so. uh so we figured they might come on stage give like a very short kind of tech demo or just a quick brief look at gameplay running around an area that kind of thing uh we may get possibly some more well i say some more story details we don't really have any so possibly some story details that uh may give us some sort of direction as to why going to Andromeda, what we're looking for while we're there maybe that kind of thing nothing too massively revealing but some more details maybe a few snippets here and there and we also think that they will be a trailer i think that's kind of obvious one for everyone really yeah we thought it'd be like another little teaser trailer yeah we think maybe like a minute to a minute and a half long and possibly another one with uh, a voiceover or a narration of some kind from mm -hmm. somebody and uh, that's kind of in brief our predictions for ea play and uh, and yeah so so yeah so yeah. kind of based on that uh, it's it's weird to kind of guess because we've always watched the ea conference uh, e3 yeah it's always yeah. been within the same thing so to have it at a different event entirely and then having to go off that it's completely new so it's really hard to predict yeah as to what but... they're going to go if we assume they're going to kick off with mass effect andromeda because as far as we can tell from ea that's going to be their biggest kind of pull yeah uh, so we were looking at like the schedules and stuff to kind of see when and what was kind of um releasing they haven't released like a, a breakdown of the, the schedule basically all we know is that on the Sunday, there'll be a, an hour-long conference by EA's press. Um, and then everything after that is basically, it'll be open to the media at one point, it'll be open to like uh, the public, and then that's it. So basically, there's an hour for them to showcase all their, their lineup and everything they want to talk about. So we don't think Bioware is going to get legitimately that long. Because um, Bioware are probably going to have to put in Mass Effect. They may want to even talk about their new IP as well. Mm -hmm. um, and then possibly we thought there might be... Um, like there's obviously rumors that there's Dragon Age 4 is kind of in pre-production and things like that so they may want to spend some time talking about other things um so Mass Effect probably even though it's probably one of EA's biggest games coming out in the next like two years it's probably not going to get very much time compared to the fact that there is um Battlefield there's Titanfall 2 there's Battlefront there's all these sports games coming out possibly other sims and all that kind of stuff so Bioware always get the shortest straw. They never get that much time to talk mm. about anything. So I don't predict they're going to get very much time to talk anything. And but we also know that Titanfall is actually going to be playable. Yes. Uh, Titanfall yeah. 2, sorry. Uh, will also be playable at the event. Uh, we assume this is the event in Los Angeles. We no, don't... no, it's playable both in London oh, and... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's playable that. in London and in LA. Um, so if you're going to London or LA, you can get you get to play it. You yeah. get a chance to play it. Um, and apparently there's like live events and the development teams there to talk about it. So I think that's their biggest game that they're wanting to showcase as playable, but um, very, very doubtful they're going to showcase any Bioware games to be playable other than being like a demonstration on stage, yeah. as we discussed. Um, but yeah, we're hoping for some story. We think there's definitely going to be a very small element of story. Um, and so we thought maybe they'll have a main character voice like a narration very much like how they had the shepherd kind of trailer there'll be like a, a very many like you know um like i never thought about this was going to be my journey blah blah, blah. that very cliched like hero talk 
narration. Yeah. Um, and some maybe just like a little like punch of gameplay or a little punch of just like a character's face or something yeah. like that. You know, like very, very little to go on, but enough to get people to talk about it for next like three <laughs> months until they release something else. Yeah. Until N70. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it all happens um, again. So that is literally it. We have nothing else to talk about because we have no idea. We think that obviously it's going to be very close to what their E3 demonstration would be, but because it's EA Plays, we have no idea what kind of format it's going to take on. Yeah. Because it's very difficult to predict something when it's the very first time that an event uh, that this company has done on their own outside mm-hmm. of E3 around the time of E3. You know, it's difficult to, to predict what they're going to do. They could do something completely different off their own planning, or they could just stick to the tried and true method of what they've done in previous years at E3 we just don't know and Bioware have said that there is definitely information that we will find interesting I don't know what they deem as interesting but they have said said that like you know there's gonna be stuff that we want to know at EA place because obviously they've been building up to it for like ages now every every month there's like oh just wait till EA place (laughs) and you're like okay guys it's gonna be like just kind of figure out what they're going to release. I don't imagine it's going to be too much because they still have... They've got a fair run-up still to the game. So yeah, yeah. they're going to keep teasing it because I think that they're playing with that mysterious card of, you know, what the game's going to be about. But I think there's going to be some small story, definitely, for sure. Yeah. So, yeah. So just to recap again, we think uh, a presentation on stage between 8 and 10 minutes. We think that possibly uh, one of the main devs, uh, my Gamble... Uh, or was it Aaron Flynn we said? Yeah. Yeah, uh, might play something on stage for a few minutes just to show something off. Possible story details, that one's a bit iffy, but we hope so. And a trailer of some kind as well, which I think is a given, really, at this point. So uh, there we go. So let us know what your predictions are down in the comments below. And as always, you can subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all things Mass Effect, and you can help the channel to grow by sharing the video too. Thank you very much for listening and for watching. We'll see you again very, very soon.